Hello my friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing about orthogonal transformation. But before that, we will revise the definition of an inner product space. Let V be in vector space over F, where F is a field. For you guys, field is nothing but R. That means you learn vector space till R only over R only. But in semester 6, you will understand the idea of what is a field. Hence, from now only I will use the word vector space over the field F. But you can assume the F is nothing but your real numbers R. So for you, let V be a vector space over real numbers V. Our inner product is a function from V cross V to F. Is called an inner product if it satisfies these three properties. V cross V means it is like a coordinate system where the coordinates are coming from V. That means an inner product takes two elements from the vector space and gives the output as an element of F and it satisfies these three properties. The first property is nothing but the operation inner product is linear with respect to the first coordinate. That means alpha x plus y in a product with z is same as alpha time in a product xz plus in a product of yz. Second is if you change the order you will get conjugate as the answer. That means in a product xy is same as in a product yx conjugate. Also the in a product of x with x is strictly greater than 0 for non-zero x inside vector space v. And vector space v with that inner product is called inner product space. Okay. So with this definition, I can define what is called as an orthogonal transformation. A linear operator, LO, I will use the word. Linear operator means what? It is linear transformation, but from V to itself. Okay. A linear transformation from a vector space to itself is called as a linear operator. A linear operator, T, on a inner product space, IPS, in a product space V is called is called orthogonal transformation if if the condition is simple if in word I will say I will say it preserves the inner product that means if I take two elements and I take their inner product, it will give me some element of F. And I apply T, and then I take the inner product of those two elements, still I get the same answer. Means, if I apply the transformation, still my inner product is same. Hence, we can say, it is having, or it is preserving the inner product. That means, if inner product of XY is same as the inner product of TX, TY. And this is true for all x comma y inside v. Okay, so I have used the word linear operator t. That means t is from v to itself. Okay, so this you can write over here. Okay, if it preserves the inner product, that means inner product x y same as inner product of t x comma t y. After applying the inner product, still the answer of the after applying the transformation still still the inner product is same. Hence in a product xy same as in a product tx comma ty. So this is nothing but the simple definition of an orthogonal transformation. I know there are lots of questions about give us some example. What is the meaning? Why it is useful? We'll discuss all these things in the following lecture.